Let us understand how do you write the chemical formulas of compound. How do you write chemical formula of a compound? In some of the previous videos, you understood about the symbols of various elements. So let's say you learned that sodium is written as Na and chloride is written as Cl. You also learned about the ions which are the positive and the negatively charged ions. So we learned that in a sodium chloride there is a positive ion of sodium and there is a negative ion of chloride. Right? Now to write the chemical formula of a compound there are two things you need to know. First thing is what is the symbol of the elements which are combining. Okay? And then, in addition to symbol, you need to know something what is called the valency of the compound. Symbol is fairly easy. You need to remember them one to one. Let's understand this new boy on the ground, which is valency of a compound. Now, valency refers to the combining capacity. Now, what do you mean by combining capacity? Now, combining capacity. What do you mean by combining capacity? I mean, if you consider, you know, each of these elements as, let's say, a circle. Okay, or let's call them the faces. Now, normally a human being would have what? Only one face. Just like let's say sodium. And compare this with a garland. So suppose, how many garlands do you need to cover one face? It's only one. Okay, and the law of land is that people have only one face. Now, when you say the combining capacity, what you mean is that are there more than one faces which are around? I mean, in India, what you have is you have the famous story of the Ramji and the Ravana. Ravana had actually 10 faces. Now for Ravana, how many garlands will you require if you have to garland each of his faces? Obviously, you require 10 garlands. Okay. By combining capacity, what you mean is that depending on how many faces are there for each of these elements, let's say for sodium chloride, it is pretty simple. You have only, you require only one atom of sodium and one of chloride. But if the valency or rather this is the valency of sodium and valency of chloride. If the valency of sodium was let's say 8 and the valency of chloride was let's say 1. Then to match this valency you would need at least 8 particles of chloride. You have to make this equal. So you will need one item of sodium and eight of chloride. Once you know this and you make a reaction of these two, then sodium chloride will be formed. I'm not saying this is the actual thing because this is just what I was taking illustrative. Let me take an actual example so that you guys don't confuse with sodium chloride at a later date. 
Let's take the case of hydrogen sulfide. Okay. Now you know the formula of hydrogen is H and the valency of hydrogen is actually 1 which is 1 plus. Okay. Now if you see sulfide basically it is represented as S and the valency of sulfide is 2. This is actually 2 minus. What do you mean by 2 minus? There are two negatively charged ions with sulfide. So to match this 1 to 2 you will actually require what? This, this valency has to balance. In the sense it has to be equal. So if one atom consists of one valency then two atoms will comprise of what? Two valency. So you will require two atoms of hydrogen. So you write this as H2 and you will require one atom of sulfide. Why? Because one atom will contain two ions. So you just write S1. Normally the way you do is you cross multiply these two. So 2 is multiplied by H so you write it as H2. S is multiplied by 1 so you write it as S. So that's how you write the chemical formula. Let's take one more example so that it becomes easier for you. Okay. What do you want to take? be wondering why am I asking you this question. Okay, let's take magnesium chloride. Now if you see the formula of magnesium is Mg and that of chloride is Cl. This is positively charged for two ions, this is negatively charged. So if you see what is the valency of magnesium? Obviously, it is 2. What is the valency of chloride? It is 1. You ignore these positive and negative signs. So, for every 1 valency of chloride, the magnesium chloride is 2. So, how many chloride items do we require? It require 2 chloride atoms to make the valency equal to 2 here. And you just need 1 here to make it 2. So you either you do a cross multiplication so magnesium 1 so you write it as Mg chloride 2 you write Cl2. So this becomes the formula for magnesium chloride.